The David Pakman show depends on the support of our audience. Our primary source of funding is the membership program we have on our website, joinpacman.com. We do an extra show every day called the bonus show for our members. Oh, the bonus show where you want to make money. But everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. Well, OK, I wouldn't call it quite so bad. It's just an extra show, Alex. But thank you. You can sign up at joinpacman.com and you can use the coupon code big voting 22 to get a sizable discount off of the cost of a membership. Hope to see you on today's bonus show. Ginny Thomas's lawyer says she's just too stressed out to testify because of what's going on in the United States today. Yes, it's uh, beyond parody. So let's back up a little bit. Clarence Thomas is a Supreme Court justice. Ginny Thomas is the wife of Clarence Thomas. Ginny Thomas, we now know, was very much involved in the fake elector scheme of the 2022 election, trying to send fake electors to Washington, D.C. to vote for Trump instead of Joe Biden, despite Joe Biden having won uh, their state. This includes Arizona. She was heavily involved in the um, uh, lead up to the January 6th rally that Donald Trump did before the riot. Ginny Thomas is very involved. And this also puts Clarence Thomas in a potentially compromising position where many are saying he should really recuse himself from anything even remotely having to do with the 2020 election. The January 6th committee now wants to hear from her and her lawyer says, guys, she's just too stressed out. And this is only days after she said she was eager to testify yet again. Oh, I want to tell my side. OK, we'll show up and swear an oath. Oh, I'm too stressed. Now I can't do it. Business Insider reports Ginny Thomas's lawyer tries to get her out of the January 6 panel testimony, saying it's been a particularly stressful time amid all of these Supreme Court rulings. You've got to be kidding me. The attorney for Ginny Thomas, the wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, questioned the need for her testimony before the January 6 committee and said it had been a, quote, particularly stressful time. Oh, poor thing. Amid recent Supreme Court rulings. The House committee investigating the Capitol riot requested a voluntary interview with Thomas earlier this month over her efforts to overturn the 2020 election. She didn't formally accept the invitation, but she said two weeks ago she, quote, can't wait to speak to the panel. OK, but in an eight page letter sent on Tuesday, Thomas's uh, attorney, Mark Paletta, wrote he had, quote, serious concerns about the interview, asked the committee to, quote, provide a better justification for why her testimony would be relevant and added in his letter. I would also note that this has been a particularly stressful time as the Thomases have been subjected to an avalanche of death threats and other abuse by the unprecedented assault on the conservative Supreme Court justices and their families. Oh, guys, it's just too stressful for her right now. But of course, remember, Ginny Thomas, uh, 14 days ago, I can't wait to talk to the January 6th committee and will, quote, clear up misconceptions. It sounds like two weeks ago she saw the opportunity to testify uh, or re it wasn't even to testify. It was an informal interview to speak to the January 6th committee as maybe a stress reducing thing. I would love to show up. It would be so good for me to reduce and clear up misconceptions about my involvement cut to cut to uh, this week. Oh, it's just way too stressful for her. Way, way, way too st stressful. Well, why not clear up the misconceptions? Maybe the misconceptions aren't really misconceptions. Maybe she really was as involved that it, as it's believed in the attempts to overturn the 2020 election. Did Clarence Thomas say, oh, hell no, you can't do that. That's insane. Did her lawyer say, you know, if you give this informal interview, the next step is the committee might say, well, we're, we need you to testify under oath. And then if you don't, then they might subpoena you. And maybe the conversation would reveal additional information that's bad for Clarence Thomas. Guys, she's married to a Supreme Court justice. She must have known that this all could lead towards sworn testimony in which she would be bound to tell the truth. And this is straight out of the Trump playbook. Remember that one of the classics of the Trump playbook is the principle. It was often Trump who would do it. He would say, hell yeah, I'll show up. I'll clear all this up. And it's because Trump thinks he's smarter than everybody in the room. Trump thinks he can lie and give his false version of events and everybody's going to fall for it. Nobody's going to realize that the guy is lying. 
And then lawyers say, oh, there is no way you're showing up and testifying under oath. Remember that with the Russia probe, this was a thing. Trump kept saying, I can show up and I'm going to tell him what's what. And of course, every lawyer said, oh, dear God, this guy lies uncontrollably. If he shows up and lies, that's what others are getting indicted and charged for and found guilty of. You can't do that. You tell everyone just how eager you are to share your information. You tell everybody how eager you are to clarify. And then later someone else says, oh, yeah, no, here's the thing. Uh, she's really stressed out, guys. She can't show up. And that's exactly what happened with Trump in the Russia probe. And listen, I'm open to seeing do these Secret Service agents testify? Do other aides to high level Trump staff come in and contradict the testimony of Cassidy Hutchinson? Bring them in, put them under oath, and then we'll keep it. We'll, we'll consider it on an equal playing field. Otherwise, it's just media nonsense. And the latest is Ginny Thomas is just too stressed out to show up and clear up everything. Just she, we're wrong about everything we've said about her, and she would love to clear it up, but it's just too stressful for her right now. Give me a break. I think this is the biggest discount that any sponsor has ever offered on The David Pakman Show. This is Crush Organics. Crush Organics loves the show so much. They're giving my viewers 50 percent off their entire collection of organic CBD products. When you use the code Pacman. I'm the only show where you can get this big a discount that I like. And for each sale, Crush Organics will donate ten dollars to the last prisoner project. That's a really great nonprofit helps to free nonviolent drug offenders and reform drug laws. Very important. And it doesn't stop there. Anyone who uses my code also gets a free jar of CBD gummies or a jar of CBD topical cream. Crush has only the best organic CBD, whether you're looking for oils, creams or edibles. So that's 50 percent off and a free jar of gummies or topical cream and 10 bucks towards creating real change in our justice system. Go to crushorganics.us and use the code Pacman. The link is down below.